Hey, it's Scott from Bone Arrow. I was asked to say a few words about the Johan Milan. Um, first off, if you've never had Milan de Bourgogne or think you haven't had it, it's possible that you did in a bottle of Muscadet. Uh, that's the region at the western edge of the Loire River uh, near Nantes. And um, the grape variety itself, Milan de Bourgogne, uh, isn't widely planted in the U.S. We have a tiny bit here in the Willamette Valley. I think I buy the most of it. And what um, is unique about the Johan Milan is the fact that um, we leave it on the leaves for an extended period of time. If you don't know what leaves are, uh, they're dead yeast cells, and we are eternally grateful to the French for giving us the word leaves, trust me. Um, anyway, I will age the Johan Milan on the Lees for generally two to three months longer than the Willamette Valley Milan, which um, is a tribute to maybe the more traditional uh, old-fashioned style of Muscadet. And this Johan Milan is um, taking its cue from what's happening presently, where you have a new generation, a younger generation of producers trying to elevate or advance the style and make something um, different from what their parents and their grandparents might have made. And uh, as a result, we let this wine go through malolactic fermentation. We let it ripen a touch longer than the other, um, other Milan, and we give it this extended lees aging. And um, probably my favorite way to describe Milan to people who haven't had it is, in my mind, I categorize it as the lager of wines. It's, uh, it's not meant to be intense. It's not meant to be um, over the top. It's a light, refreshing, quenching uh, wine like a lager. Uh, hope that's helpful, uh, and I hope you enjoy the wine.